You know, Catlin was one of the first to take American Indians to Europe in terms of sort of doing performances or at least meeting the people. But it was a very small effort and it was more just them talking and meeting people. Buffalo Bill was really the first uh, to take them with a serious effort at performance. Performance not only in, in the uh, recreation of battles, but also performance of their culture. And I really look upon the latter thing being critical to this because the, the folks that were performing in the battles, yeah, there was a, a dimension of interest in that, but I think the Europeans were most fascinated with seeing their culture, seeing the outfits, seeing their housing, seeing the way they lived, as well as seeing just seeing them. That was so unusual to them. Uh, so for the Europeans, this is a, a first exposure, 1887, and then um, to what, 1892, and then again 1902, late 1902 into 1906. Um, and it's amazing for Buffalo Bill's part, that wasn't a lot of time, but Buffalo Bill set the whole thing in, in motion. Then you had others going. You had Doc Carver, I believe he went to Europe. You had uh, certainly Pawnee Bill going to Europe, and then 101 Ranch, Pawnee Bill, and other imitators, even to the level that, for example, in Sweden you had imitators of Buffalo Bills that were sort of homegrown imitators. And um, all of this, you know, is, is a fascination that the Europeans have with something that's so strange and different. And I think they're interested in how that culture confronted European culture. But there is this, this whole James Fenimore Cooper thing is going on, and they're aware of James Fenimore Cooper's novels. So they're very curious about that, particularly in England. Um, so they are curious about these cultures. They've seen a little bit in newspaper articles, and of course paintings and things. Uh, but to see all of that right there, it didn't matter what Indians were there. I think the Lakota certainly were the ones that were uh, the exciting ones that ended up visiting them. It didn't matter though. For them then, what the Lakota brought then became actually the new stereotype of what Indians in America were. Over time, I think, they discovered. So by 1935, actually, the Lakota are still sort of the rock stars of the Exposition Universal in Brussels. But they also had a section where they had uh, sort of uh, adobe buildings. And they were talking a little bit about the Southwestern culture. I think there may even have been some Southwestern Indians that were there. But they just paled in comparison to the the Lakota, the K Lakota, as far as the Europeans were, were the rock stars of the American Indians. That's what everybody wanted to see.